In today's video, I'm gonna share how one chance encounter for this particular CEO changed his life and helped create a culture of recognition. One of the stories that I love sharing in my talks and one of the stories that I actually have in my book is from David Novak. And David Novak is the former CEO of Yum! Brands, which by the way, when he was the CEO, they had over 1.5 million employees, making it one of the world's largest organizations. But before David became the CEO of Yum! Brands, he was an executive in operations at Pepsi. And when he was an executive at Pepsi Cola, he was in a little bit over his head. And so what he decided to do to learn as much as he could is he brought together a team of 12 merchandisers in St. Louis. So he flies everybody to St. Louis, everybody's in a conference room, all 12 of these merchandisers are sitting around the table. And David says, who is the merchandiser here that everybody looks up to and admires? Who's the merchandiser here that everybody turns to for help and guidance? And one by one, everybody went around the table and they would say things like, oh, you gotta talk to Bob. Customers love Bob. I've learned more from Bob in three days than I have in three years being at this company. Everybody was going around basically saying these wonderful things about Bob. And so David's thinking, all right, well, clearly I gotta talk to this Bob person. And David looks down the end of the conference table and he sees Bob sitting there and Bob is crying. And David is so confused. He goes over to Bob and he says, hey, what's going on? All these people here, all your peers, your colleagues, are saying these amazing things about you and you're over here in tears, what is going on? And Bob looks at David and he says, you know what? I have been at this company for 47 years. I'm retiring in two weeks and I never knew that anybody felt this way about me. And as David told me, that hit him like a ton of bricks. It hit him like a punch in the stomach. I mean, imagine giving pretty much your entire adult working life to an organization, never feeling that you've been recognized or rewarded for the work that you have put in. And that was a very pivotal moment uh, in David's career. And he decided from that moment on, he was never gonna be part of an organization where employees didn't feel recognized and rewarded. And so when he became the president of KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken, he created a recognition award. And basically what this award was, was when an employee did something that deserved praise or recognition, he would give them a rubber chicken, he would number the rubber chicken, write down what the employee did to deserve it, he would take a picture of himself and the employee in the rubber chicken, he would hang it on his wall, and he would give the employee a $100 gift card, because as David told me, you can't eat a rubber chicken. And when David became the president of Pizza Hut, he did the same thing, he would give employees these big cheese hats, he would write down what the employee did to deserve it, picture, gift card, hang the picture on his wall. And when he became the CEO of Yum! Brands, he did the same thing, but he used wind up teeth. You know, those teeth, you wind them up, you put them on your desk and they, they, they chatter and run around the table. Um, so he created a recognition award. Again, same thing, wind up teeth. What I love about this story is that in each of these cases, David didn't have to ask anybody's permission. He didn't go to HR and say, hey, can I recognize my people? He didn't go to finance and say, hey, can I give somebody a cheese hat? He just started recognizing his people, showing appreciation for them. And you know what happened? It created a culture of recognition. Other leaders saw what David was doing and they're like, hey, wait a minute. We need to create our own recognition award. David's got these really cool awards. I'm gonna create my own awards. And so leaders started to do things like give out a boxing glove for a knockout performance. And they came up with their own versions of David's recognition award. And I love, love, love this story because it shows how doing something so simple can have such a profound impact. And it also shows that as a leader, and even just as a human being, a coworker, a peer, you don't need anybody's permission to recognize somebody and to say thank you to them. And I want you to ask yourself, how many Bobs do you think you have working at your company right now? And how easy is it for you to go recognize that Bob that you have and let them know that they are appreciated and that they are valued? So I hope you can learn from this story of David Novak, the former CEO of Yum! Brands, and so that you can create a culture of recognition at your company. Hey, it's just a quick reminder to check out my brand new PDF, thefutureemployee.com, which looks at how employees are evolving and changing and what you as an organization need to do to evolve and adapt. You'll get a complete breakdown of what that evolution looks like, as well as action items that you should be taking. 
It's an invaluable resource and you can grab it at thefutureemployee.com. Again, that's thefutureemployee.com.